Let's practice our shuffles. As with many other styles and techniques that we've been doing, we want to make sure that we're remembering release, relax, and ready principle so that that foot is always finishing and ready for whatever comes next. In this next exercise, instead of the shuffle ending up in this position where we've been doing it, we're now going to end it out following the brush. The rhythm's going to be and a one, and a two, and a three, and a four, and a one, and a two, and a three, and a four, and a one, and a two, and a three, and a four, and a one, and a two, and a three, and a four. Let's try it slowly at the bar. Let's try that on the left, nice and slow. Great, now let's try it without the bar. There you go. At home, when you have the place, the space, and the time, I want you to send that shuffle to the side, and I want you to practice even crossing it. I'll demonstrate the cross. There you go. Let's try it on the left. Great. Now let's practice our shuffles in triplet time. Remember to be nice and relaxed. Let that knee be nice and loose. Let that ankle be relaxed. Let me demonstrate it quickly. I'm going to do a one and a two, a one and a two, a one and a two, and a three and a four, a one and a two, a one and a two. Now let me turn around and we can do it together. There you go. And again, practice crossing it, practice putting it in front, practice putting your shuffle in back. Explore the different placement opportunities for those beautiful brushes and spanks. Our next shuffle exercise alternates a heel drop or a hop, or in some cases we can substitute a toe drop, alternating the shuffle with one of those single sounds. Let's do it slowly at the bar first. Again, make sure that leg is ready, all right? The foot is nice and relaxed. So we're going to do the lift here. A one and a two. Or a one and a two to change feet, all right? Or we could do toe. Or we could do a hop. Let's look at the different options of incorporating a hop, a heel drop, or a toe drop with our shuffles.